All right, this is Secret Zoo, our favorite. And today we are reading chapter 22, Ella Becomes Speechless. Ella and Richie sat in a quiet spot outside of Metropolis under a lamppost, trying to figure out where Noah might have gone. Arctic Town, Richie said. All that stuff that happened with Blizzard, I'm sure he picked Arctic Town. What about Forest of Flight? Or maybe he went to see that monkey with the long tail? Hmm, I don't know. Me either. Ella stared up at the sky, a blank canvas for the portrait of her thoughts. For a moment, neither of them spoke. Then Richie said in a weak voice, Uh, Ella? Not now, Richie, I'm thinking. You're going to want to see this. Ella looked at him. His face was white. His expression was blank, as if he felt no emotion, or as if he felt so many emotions that they canceled one another out, like the variables in Mrs. Bless's mind-bending algebra equations. Ella's eyes followed his gaze, and she gasped with fright. Finally, Richie spoke very quietly. What are they? Ella had no words. Not for this. Chapter 23, Marching with the Penguins. The penguins led Noah to a door in the wall opposite of the aquarium. The sign read, Employees Only. Three penguins jumped out the door and thrust it open. Inside was a narrow hallway with a steep wooden floor. The penguins led Noah up the ramp. A few feet ahead, the passageway swung around a sharp turn. One penguin lost its balance and rolled down the ramp, knocking over the penguins like bowling pins. Looking dazed, but no less determined, the fallen penguins jumped to their feet and started their climb again. The hallway straightened out and headed toward the aquarium. Moments later, Noah felt cold air rising through the floor. The aquarium was directly beneath them. They reached an open doorway framed with ice, and one by one, the penguins leaped through it and dropped out of sight. Noah leaned through the doorway to take a peek and slipped on the snow-covered ramp. He tumbled down and landed flat on the icy shore. The penguins followed behind him, trampled across his back in a single file. Each time Noah tried to yell, Stop! A webbed foot landed on his head and pressed his face in the snow. Finally, when all the penguins had crossed over him, he worked his way to his feet and looked around. The inside of the aquarium was covered in snow, frost, and ice. Penguins were everywhere, and the black eyes of each suited bird were pinned on him. Noah dusted off the snow of his jacket, and he, his breath rose from his mouth like steam. Remember, what is that called? It's a scientific term for that. He didn't know what the birds were expecting him to do, so she, he simply just stated his purpose. I'm looking for a penguin named Podgy. Chapter 24, Avalanche of Fur. Ella stared in disbelief. What are they? Richie asked again. Fifty yards away, hundreds of little animals were charging toward them. They covered a long stretch of the sidewalk and spilled out onto the grass. Standing just higher than someone's ankle, they were packed so tightly together they looked like the rushing mass of an avalanche. An avalanche of fur. Richie, Ella said slowly, those things look like rats. I was hoping you wouldn't say that. Richie said, rats are friendly, right? Uh, I mean, this stuff in the movie about like rats being mean, um, they just say that to freak you out, right? I don't know, Ella said. You're the one with the big brain. As the animals approached, they grew noisier. Their pin-sized claws scratched the sidewalk and made high pitch sound. The animals were barking, and their barks were quiet and squeaky. Yip, 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 yip. Hold on, those aren't rats, they're gophers. The closer they came, the easier they were to see. They had short legs, squat, chubby bodies, and heads that looked like furry tennis balls. When they reached the scouts, they surrounded them and sat up on their hind legs, exposing their fat, furry underbellies. They watched Ella and Richie as if they were expecting the children to do something. Now that they were so close, their yipping sounds were louder than ever. These are prairie dogs, Richie said. That gophers. Ella leaned toward Richie and said, Whatever they are, I'm guessing they know who we are. Richie turned around in circles, eyeing the prairie dogs suspiciously. I'm guessing you're right. <laughs> you know what else I'm guessing? What? I'm guessing they know Megan. And not only that, but they know where she is. And that's where Noah's heading. If we can't trust Tank, Richie said, how do you know we can trust these guys? I don't know. All I know is we've got to help Noah. Richie nodded. L looked down at the animals and said, Okay, furballs, show us what you want to show us. The mass of prairie dogs turned and headed back in the direction they had come from, escorting the scouts through the dark, 
cold night. I'm going to stop there. We're going to, the next chapter is Noah on Ice.